Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to fix this common problem with Windows 10 and Windows 11, that sometimes if you try to open Windows security, then it won't open, it will open for a few seconds, and then, it turns off the application. So in this video, you will see different ways to fix this problem. So, the first thing you should do, is go to settings, open the apps option, and look for Windows security in the apps section. If you find Windows security in the apps and the features, then you can easily fix the problem. A if you don't find Windows security, then you are in trouble. So, in my case, I am unable to find Windows security on Windows 10, but, A I will show you the process on Windows 11. You just have to go to settings and open the app. Look for the installed app, and if you find a Windows security. So here it is Windows security. Click on these three dots, and go to advanced options, and look for reset and repair option. First, you have to reset and check if it is working or not. If not try to repair it, and after that, check if you are able to open Windows security. If not, follow the next method. Fourth is the next method. You have to check if the background apps are running or not. Go to settings. And then privacy option. Scroll down to find the background apps option on the left pane. Click on it, and make sure the background apps are running. If it is turned off, you have to turn it on. And make sure it is on for the Windows security as well, so it is on for all the apps now. You will have to restart your PC and check if it is ISO working or not, if not follow the next method. For this method, we are going to use Windows Troubleshooter. Go to Settings and then Update and Security option, click on Troubleshoot option. Now click on Additional Troubleshooters, and look for Windows Store app. Click on it, and run the troubleshooter. Now Windows Troubleshooter will try to find the problem with your PC and give you an option to fix it. You just have to follow the on-screen instructions and if the Windows Troubleshooter can fix the problem, that's pretty okay. But if not you can follow the next method. In my case, it was unable to fix the problem. For this method, we are going to execute some PowerShell commands. Right click on the start menu, or search for a PowerShell and run it as admin. Click on yes option. Now you have to execute some commands given in the video description. So copy this command set execution policy unrestricted from the video description. Paste it here, and press enter now. Type letter A, and then hit enter, so that we can execute all the commands without any restriction. Now copy and paste another command from the video description. This command will allow you to reset the Windows Security app, and if the Windows Security app is missing, then you will get a reset Apex package is not recognize this error message, but if it can reset, then you will get no message at all. Now you have to restart your computer, and check if the Windows Security app is working or not. If not, come back to the PowerShell again, execute the set execution policy unrestricted command and then copy and paste this command from the video description, and press enter this command. It will rebuild all the apps on your Windows 10 or Windows 11. So let the process complete and ignore all the errors you get while executing this command. And after that, exit out PowerShell, and restart your computer, and check if it is working or not, if not follow the next method. In this method, we are going to repair the corrupt system files using the system file checker. So first you have to open CMD, you can search for CMD and then run it as admin. On this Windows 10, I am unable to search, so I will open CMD another way, using Task Manager. So anyhow you have to open CMD as admin. Before we run the system file checker command, we have to check if Windows 10 or Windows 11 image file is corrupt or OK, so you have to execute this DISM command DISM online cleanup image scan health, given in the video description, so copy and paste, 
then press enter, and it will check the health of image file on your Windows 10 or Windows 11. And in my case, no component store corruption found, so the Windows 10 image file is totally fine on this computer. In your case, if it says any corruption detected, then you can restore the health of Windows 10 or Windows 11 image file using this command. And it will take some another 20 or 25 minutes, depending on the internet speed. After that, you have to run the SFC command, ASFC space forward slash scan now, and press enter. This will take some time to verify the system files, and if it finds any corrupted files, then it will repair them as well. So you have to wait till the process is complete. You can see that it found some corrupted files, and successfully repaired them. Now exit out the CMD, and restart your computer, and check if the Windows security is working fine. If not, follow the next method. For this method, we are going to update our Windows 10 or Windows 11. So you have to go to settings, and then update and security. Go to Windows Update, and check for the updates. Now you have to download and install all the available updates, so you have to wait till the process is complete. It will take some time to download and install the updates. Once the updates are installed, you have to restart your computer and it will take some more time to install all the downloaded updates, configure the downloaded updates, and after that you have to check if you are able to open Windows Security App. If it is working fine, then you are most welcome. If it is not working, then go to this next method. Try to reset your PC, and this is the last thing you should try. So you have to go to Menu, then Settings, and go to Update and Security, then Recovery option, and then click on, Get Started under Reset this PC. This will delete all the installed apps, so you have to click on Keep my file, so that it won't delete any personal files but it will delete your installed apps, so make sure it is selected as restore apps and is settings that came with this PC and it is enabled, so let's confirm it, and then hit next, now it will take some time to reset your PC and after that you have to reinstall all the third party apps which you want to use on your Windows 10 or Windows 11, and if your Windows 10 or Windows 11 is totally corrupt, then you might have to use external media to reset your computer. Or you might not have to reinstall Windows at all. I hope you liked this video. And if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to hit like, and subscribe buttons, and don't forget to hit also the notification bell, so you will get the latest video tutorials.